Song of the Bandits, Episode 1 Netflix Latest Series Song of the Bandits Episode 1, First Impressions Song of the Bandits is here. And if there is one thing I appreciated from start to end of our premiere episode, it was the gorgeous art direction. Let me stare at those stagecoaches some more and sit inside with our characters and weather some sandstorms. But what our drama had in spades, RT direction, cinematography, etc., it lacked in any actual grounded emotion as it relies on a lot of telling. To introduce our hero and get us acquainted, we first meet Lee Yon, Kim Nam, Gil, when he's in a drunken and depressed haze. But lo, news comes that the mysterious person he's been looking for has finally been located. Suddenly, his torpor gives way to action, and he's ready to leave town, and he'll bust his way out if he has to. And he kinda does, because his friend A. Uh, the man who once owned him, and with whom he served in the Japanese military, is fuming mad that he wants to move on. This Chingu is Li Kuang, Isle, Li Haiyun, Wook, and his rage against Yuan is only just beginning. Because why be bad when you can be bad with a capital B? Before Yuan leaves town, he says a silent goodbye from the street, gazing up into a window where we see a yet. Unnamed woman, Siohai, with heartbreak and longing in his eyes. We can tell he was once in love with her. A, and still is, but things didn't go as planned, which is pretty much our hero's entire life experience. As we'll come to learn, he's carrying a heavy burden of guilt and self-hate, but we first have to follow him to a settlement in Gondo, ah, K.A. Giondeo, to get any answers. It's here we meet the illustrious Kim Sun, Bok, the delightful Che Chung, Hua, who is like an older sister to him. They were once serfs together, but now son. Bach is a wealthy arms dealer, and thus relatively secure in the lawlessness that is life in Gando, and the settlement city of Myongjong. But Yon isn't there for son. Bach, he's there for a guy named Shui Chung. Su, Yu, J, my young, who looks magnificent in a sang tu. Chung, Su, was once the general of the independence fighters, but is now living in hiding, scraping by with his Joseon cohort. I don't know about you, but I came for the wild action spectacle. I was promised, so I'd actually rather have a fun tale of sharpshooting vigilantes straight through and just skip the other parts that are weighing it down. In its favor, though, this episode was purely for getting all the players on the stage and in the right mindset. So if the drama stops trying to force-feed emotional weight and just leans into the desperado angle, then I'll be having fun.